Hey, it's Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to show you how to install Easy Station on your computer and how to download footage from your Uniview NVR. This video will be split into two parts. So, in the first part, I will show you how to get the software on your computer and your NVR up and running. In the second part of this video, I will show you how to use the software to download the video. So if you already have Easy Station on your computer and you can see your NVR, you can skip to this time in the video and you can follow along from there. So the first thing we want to do is open up our web browser and search in Google for Easy Station 3.0. This is the software that we will use to view our cameras and download the footage. So we'll go to the first link, make sure this is a uniview.com website for Easy Station. And we scroll down to where it says download here. And I'm going to download the Windows 64 bit version of the software. And if you're on a Mac, you will download the Easy Station for Mac. So we can see that's already downloading. I'm going to go ahead and open up the download and run this file. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on next, accept, next, next, install. Okay, once it's installed, click on finish. And I'm going to go back to my desktop. And we can see on the desktop, we have the icon for Easy Station 3.0. So go ahead and click that. It's a blue icon. And if it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. So when you first open the Easy Station software, it'll ask you to create a super administrator user. Um, in this case, we're going to choose a password for the software. So you can create your own password. The reason why we're creating a password is because if you share your computer with other people and you don't want them to have access to your camera system, you're going to want to set up a strong password. In this case, I'm going to use a very basic password and click next. Okay, no, it asked me to actually make a strong password. So I'm going to add an exclamation mark here. For my password and click on next. And this is just for your own protection. In case you forgot your password, you can reset the password. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and enter my password again. Um, I don't recommend you do this though. And click OK. Gonna enter the password again one more time. If you want to avoid entering the password every time, you can click Save Password, and you can also click Auto Login, so you would just automatically log in. You don't have to enter your password every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that and log in. Once we have the software open, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Cancel here and get rid of this. I'm going to navigate to the Device Management tab here. On the left hand side, click on cloud device and log in. So logging in here, you will enter the same email address and password that you have set up on easy view app on your smartphone. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my username here and password. And this will allow us to see all the cameras and NVRs that we have added to our account. So click login. And now that we're logged in, we can see that our device is showing as online. That's perfect. And that concludes the first part of this tutorial. So now that we have Easy Station installed on our computer and we are logged into our cloud account, I'm going to show you how to download the footage from your NVR onto your computer. First thing we're going to do is click on the control panel. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and maximize this so you can see more clearly. So we're back onto the control panel tab. And before we do anything, go to system configuration on the right hand side. Go to recording tab. And change the downloaded recording format from TS to MP4 and the local recording from TS to MP4. This will allow you to open the downloaded file as an MP4 file, which just makes it easier to share with people and easier for them to view the file. So 
So once we've done that, go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to go to the Playback tab. The Playback tab is where we can see our NVR and we can download the footage from it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my camera here at the front and we're going to search uh, through playback. So say, for example, on uh, Saturday the 18th, we can search using the calendar here. We can see the playback here. It's nighttime, not much happening, but let's say there was something happening and we want to download all the recording from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. So how do we do that? So what we need to do is click this download button here on the bottom left corner. Select your camera. Select the date and time. So in this case, I'm going to select uh, the 18th. And we're going to go to from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. And click search. This is going to give you a list of files from that time period. So I'm going to select all of them because I want the entire hour to be downloaded and choose high speed download. So this will make it a bit faster and then click on download. You can see that a recording task has been created. It'll tell you on the bottom right here. We can click on view task that shows you how much percent is downloaded. So I think right now we're at about 4%, 5%. And you can also see there's other tasks here because this is downloading uh, multiple clips at the same time. And when this is finished downloading, it'll show up under completed. And you can open up this task management again from the bottom left hand side. So if we close it, you can see this icon where it's downloading. Click the icon that will bring up again the task management. So I'm going to wait for this to finish downloading and I will skip ahead to that point. OK, now that our files are finished downloading, we can see them in the list of completed files here. If we click on the open folder button, this will actually open the folder where the files have been downloaded to. Um, by default, the files will go to C slash users slash public slash easy station three slash record. So keep this in mind if you're not able to find your files, try navigating there and we can see our files are here. If we double click on the file, we can see that they're working and we can play them back. Yep, perfect. So this is again just as an example showing the time from three o'clock to four o'clock. And that concludes this video for how to use EasyStation 3.0 to download files from your Uniview cameras and how to upload the files as well. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.